Hey parents, it's been uh, definitely a crazy few weeks. I uh, imagine uh, you guys are definitely feeling stir crazy and uh, to your wits end sometimes. But I just want to take a moment and tell you you're doing a great job. I'm getting a lot of communication from you. I appreciate that. Um, there is a reason why I'm having you send me pictures and, and showing things and so forth. It keeps the kids engaged. It makes them accountable and also... You know, it's exciting for them to share that with their teacher that this way. And at times I will be sharing their pictures out with the other students, if that's okay with you, so they can see their other friends also. And that's exciting for them. I had a lot of parents tell me that they were uh, very excited when we sent out the pictures of, of the kids in the workstations from home. So some of these other themes, I will send them out to each other. So I'll make sure your child is participating please. And uh, I, I, I will post in a video. I build up to it. Wednesdays and Fridays is going to be a fun theme type of a day, whatever it's going to be. This coming Wednesday is going to be uh, superheroes, make your own superhero costume or just mix match an outfit or they can wear a superhero t-shirt if they want a shirt or if they have a full costume from Harvest Festival, Halloween, whatever it might be that they can wear that and send that picture in and uh, you know how more, why they're doing their schoolwork. Make it fun that way. But um, Wednesdays and Fridays, we try to do a theme so they can send that in. So these are ways that just to kind of keep them engaged. They're not just same old, same old, boring in their pajamas doing their work. You know, we want them to be engaged and them to be excited too. And then on the other hand, I've, I've talked to a few parents and students. I've gotten a few calls saying, my child's not listening to me. Please talk to your student. So, uh, but anyway, sometimes it's kind of like, it reverse a little bit uh, but anyways but uh, I don't mind I'm here for communication if you have any questions or or your child's having a hard time with a concept or something then feel free to text me or call me that's fine I will get back to you as soon as I can I am making videos throughout the day or uploading videos or, or you know so I'm staying busy I'm usually here at school anyways during this the daytime because all my stuff is here so I make all my videos here so I am available to you, so don't be shy about that. Even if it's something small, uh, some some things, maybe some ideas for to encourage them, do a point system. Uh, talk to a parent about doing a point system to help with their child earn points in, in different things. Or you can use a um, you know similar thing like a penny system, or or take a Lego blocks and and they can stack up that they earn so many, or they get their paper done, they can stack it up, and maybe by the end of the week they can have built a house or built you know a tower or something and they can get a reward or something from it it doesn't have to be a toy it could just be extra time maybe you know watching tv or they get to pick the family movie to watch together or or a snack popcorn or something so think of things that work for your child now if you get frustrated and your child gets frustrated I don't want you know everybody to be so stressed about it it is remember it's stressful in you um, and it's stressful on them too. They're just as cooped up as you are. And, and, you know, they miss their friends just like you miss your life. Uh, so, you know, if you need to, send them to the rooms for a chill time. You know, have them go to the room and, and pray, you know, type of a thing. That's Refocus them that way and say, you know, go to the room and, and pray and ask Jesus to help you get your work done or something like that. And, you know, but try to work on rewards is, is a better thing I believe in than necessarily you know negative but sometimes everybody needs to refocus needs a change of breath you know mainly refocusing is for parents to, to calm down to and uh, with that so if you have any you know things that you need any hints or, or helps I'm here to help you with that and on the other hand if you guys think of any themes for Wednesdays or Fridays for future themes uh, let me know too and uh, and everything. I am going to do. My wife came up with a good idea. I am going to do a day where we have. Uh, maybe I'll do it Friday. I have to see with her schedule. But we're going to do lunch with your teacher day. And uh, and your child will watch that when they have lunch. And I'll have the camera where my wife and I were eating lunch and talking. We'll talk to the camera, and we'll talk out to the students while we're having lunch. And so they can eat their lunch at the same time or their snack at the same time as we do that. So kind of a way of connecting a little bit with them. I am, at first I was going to do my videos a little shorter. 
my main video and break it up. But I decided to try to keep it on purpose, the, the morning video, to around a half hour. I'm doing that on purpose, um, not because I'm just long-winded, but that gives you a little bit of a break to kind of set them up. And then you're able to, you have a half hour to go off and do something maybe in the room. You're still paying attention, obviously, and listening. Uh, but you're able, some of you have other siblings, younger babies in the house. So it gives you a, a half hour break to some extent to go off, do something else where you don't necessarily have to necessarily, you know, be over their shoulder to monitor them. Those that are, you know, that you can trust that are good enough not to mess with stuff or, you know, they will sit there and watch the video. I do encourage you, if you are able to, many of you might have smart TVs. I've seen some pictures, and some of the parents, they're streaming it on their TV. So uh, YouTube is built into a lot of the smart TVs. The app's already there, so you don't have to download it. So think about that. If you have that, you can play it on the big screen TV. They can just sit on the floor or on the couch, and then they're not necessarily touching any buttons. You don't have to worry about them you know, clicking off or, or you know, messing around with something that you might consider them they might mess up so on the tv you know you know keep the remote from their hands and they'll be all right so that's another thought too for those who have the smart tvs anyways so i do um let's go over um talking about the future for the rest of this year our governor has not officially made an announcement yet and maybe it'll come next week i'm not sure but you know some rumors are that he might reopen the uh the schools, public schools, first of May. And we'd go back for the last month, the last, you know, three weeks or four weeks of school. So we don't, we don't know yet. But what we're doing from our end, starting next Friday, your student has work um, up through Thursday of this coming week. So through, uh, I'm looking at my calendar, through the 16th, Thursday the 16th, April 16th, you have the work already with you. So on the 17th, which is Friday, next Friday, um, I took that day off. There's no school, no videos for that day. So that day is open. So you could come up during that day. I will be here if you want, and you can pick up a new pack. But we are going to send the rest of the school year stuff with you. It'll be stapled together by the days like it was before. I will put a section of some extra art projects separately so they can do that they have some downtime some days they're heavier load some days there's a lighter load or even if you want to do it more towards the end of the year um towards the end of the year we have a little bit of less papers the last week or so so they can always you can add the art into that time uh if we do come back then return those papers um with your um, with your student and then that's the papers they'll work on um, to the rest of the year, but we're planning on just in case, so you only have to come up here one more time. Now, for those who are not able to come up here, and that's not an option, uh, then we can work on mailing it to you, uh, but we need to know that pretty quickly. You have to remember, too, if something goes through the mail, uh, there's a, more chances of contamination or whatever through other hands it's going through. Also, it could be delayed or stuck if there's a problem. So, you know, we don't know yet. You know, so far the mail's been processing okay. But just give that a thought. If there's, you know, an issue, then um, I know some parents have already requested to come up. And we would do the same thing. You just text me, I'll run it out to you over the overhang. And uh, while I'm working here in the classroom. So you'd stay in the car and I'll just hand you your, your bag again. It'll be another grocery bag with stuff in it. Now I'm gonna, I plan on... Now, if you're not able to come up here, you're not able for things to be mailed, then we can work on other alternatives. You can contact me personally on that. But that's why I left Friday open. So that would be the day for you to come and get their stuff. If you need to get their stuff earlier, I should have it um, available um, by Wednesday, maybe Tuesday um, in some cases, but probably Wednesday I would have it early. But I'm leaving Friday you know, open for that day of just bringing it, picking it up if you're able to. Now, you're not, I'm not forcing you, we're not making you, you know, I know um, there's still, you know, a stay-at-home kind of order, but under necessity, you're able to go to the grocery stores, doctors, and so forth, so, 
um, you're able to come by school, I guess, to come get your stuff if you're comfortable with that. So it's up to you how you feel. Um, if you have any issues or any concerns about coming up and getting it from me, then, uh, you know, text me or call me. Another thing, too, about your child's work already done. Just for safety reasons, you don't need to return any of that back to me. Um, I know some of the parents uh, mentioned that their child wrote little notes on their work papers for me. Go ahead and take a picture of that and send that to me and I can see it. Uh, but just for safety reasons, um, our principal doesn't is asking not to have any papers come back to the building. And not to say anybody has it, but it's just for everybody's safety um, included in that. The uh, so, And then the future papers. If you stay home and you don't come back to school at all, I will not need those returned to me at all. Um, I uh, maybe will ask for certain things, for pictures of certain things. Um, as far as um, some of your work, many of you are sending me pictures every day with of their child's work. Um, of their actual work and stuff. So you can continue to do that by the communication, by, uh, you know, following the instructions of sending pictures in during the themes or, you know, um, theme outfits or, or, or the Play-Doh thing, you know, the Play-Dohs, um, letters, their name was in Play-Dohs um, earlier this week. Uh, probably next week they'll do Play-Dohs in numbers. Um, those things all count towards, that's how I'm counting the attendance. By the communication, it shows me that your child is paying attention to the videos. Um, they're watching them, and so they're getting the instructions on them. So it's important. And speaking of the instruction videos that I put out in the mornings, make sure, too, that they watch those before they start their work. Because I am reviewing during that time, too, over their papers. And we are reviewing some sounds, and we're reading some of the papers and things. So that will be beneficial for them. Usually in the very first video, the, the morning welcome video, I will mention, you know, you can do this paper right after this video, then take a break, then watch the instruction video, you know, that should be your very second video that you watch. And, and the reason I go through the whole thing with them completely. So, but anyway, so I know it, it's, you know, uh, maybe a scary time, it's, Definitely an unusual time. God is good. And and we are making a way through this. We just have to rely on God and our family. Uh, not to be um, paralyzed by fears. And we have to, of course, be safe to not be reckless. But, you know, I don't want anybody, you know, to be traumatized by it or the children to be freaked out by it. You know, I had one child tell me the other day that, you know, People were dying, and so they were exposed to the news and, and stuff like that. And, you know, so just be careful on that at home, too, and the conversations, you know, around your children, too. Um, so they're not, you know, stressed or fearful, whatever. So, but make a big deal about their work. Um, I'm going to try to send maybe, I'll have to see if I remember, hopefully, you know, think, think. Uh, maybe I'll send some um, some stickers in, and uh, if I can, and and you can put stickers on their papers. Um, they do enjoy the attention and and the appreciation, the accomplishment of what they're doing. So you got to build that up, build it up, build it up. What they do, um, it might look like scribble scrabble to you, uh, you know, not even a complete round circle. But we're working on foundations that they will what we call scaffolding. That's what we're building upon, you know, these foundations. And so what they're going through today, and, and you, you might see, well, they're not writing as straight or, or whatever it might be with their letters, but next year, adding to that in the next class, they will get better with that. And don't be frustrated. Different children at different times is totally normal. You know, they progress differently. Not all children progress at the same. Some might pick up things really fast, concepts, and then others, it just seems like they got it one day, they don't have it the next day. It seems frustrating. But, you know, a couple months from now, and they'll, they'll just have it. And you'll be like, wow. And it's just, they all children develop differently. 
and we can't force that or stress them out with that. All you need to do is work on make sure they're holding their pencils the right way. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Work on that. Um, have them slow it down on their coloring. Color small, not big, so they get out, go out of the lines. You want them to color small within the lines. Work on those techniques. At this age, we want to work on the fine motor skills. That's why we're having them cut, and that's why we're having them play with Play-Doh. Um, little leg or big Legos or blocks and things like that or puzzles. You know, that's problem solving. Those are things that we're working on, especially at this young age. It's fine motor skills that they really need to work on. The reading. The reading's up to you guys. You gotta, you gotta help them, you know, make the time to do the reading, review the books. You will be reviewing books 1 through 12. I am, in the pack, I am sending copies again, black and white copies, of their books of 7 through 12. And they'll be doing two a week. And then I'll be sending in another batch of brand new books. And then you can work on those through the summer. They're not designed to be finished by the end of this year. Those are for advanced readers or anybody extra. And yet they go home. So you can work on those stories throughout the summer. So, you know, they stay steady and they don't, you know, regress during the summertime because they don't work on any reading skills or blending skills or sounds or anything like that. So I will send the Bible verse cards home. Um, and I think I have a few of the alphabet left to send home. So I will send everything left to your home. And so you can just work with, with them. If they're struggling with some, some issues and some things, don't get discouraged or yell or get cranky about it just be patient repetition repetition and that's all it is and and if you get mad at them and, and you're angry you know they're going to lose confidence in themselves and they're going to think something's wrong with me I'm not getting it or you know and we don't want any child thinking that they're stupid or they're dumb and you know and I've heard children say that because they've heard that before or they pick that up from from adults and so make sure that you know we don't stress them and we don't stress ourselves out about it take plenty of little breaks if you need to and just try to explain it and if you know and if you need to keep explaining it you know every day but that's 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 how it is that's how we were when we were little so I'm just trying to encourage you I know everybody's stir crazy <laughs> at home and stuff and we're all sort of crazy and a little freaked out but but we're going to get through this and everything so all of your children are doing well grade wise and and concept wise that they you know they all will be passing so i've had some parents concern about about that about the end of the year this last you know nine weeks basically is that going to mess up are they going to be able to pass to the next grade Yes, they will be, so you don't have to worry about that it, of it. And so, but they're new papers. If you do not come back, I do not need them, but do not throw them away in front of the children. Okay? If you throw away their papers, you know, after you sent me some pictures of them, whatever, do it at night after they go to bed. Don't let them see it. You don't want them to see their accomplishment isn't worth anything. Okay, they're proud of that, and you want them, and you want to instill them to be proud of their work. Not that my work doesn't matter whether I finish it or not. You're just going to throw it away or anyway, anyways. So make sure I know I'm a parent, you know, we don't keep every single paper when they come back to us. I know that. But you know what? While you're looking at their papers and you see some of it's nice, really good, or they did a good job, then hang it up. Hang it up in the refrigerator. Make a big deal. Like, you know... This week, this is the papers we're going to hang up this week. The next week, you got to do some really good papers, better papers, so we can hang up too. And if you're able to, and you have extra siblings in your family, then, you know, have a section where you can hang up some different things. You have a cork board, or you have a on the refrigerator, whatever it might be. You can, you know, push a pin in the wall or something. But this will encourage the children too to, to do their best. But do not throw the papers away in front of them. I don't let them see it in the garbage either. And uh, okay, but I do not need the papers back. The art projects is for you guys to keep too. I don't need, you know, some parents were trying to send me back some art projects. No. So, and you can see what you can. Some some of you might not have all the supplies for all the art projects, but do the best you can. If, if it requires finger painting or something, a lot of times there are things that says finger painting, you can also just use crowns or, you know, in its place. 
So, you know, you can still do the projects to some extent limitedly, um, you know, similar in those ways. So, but make sure that they do that too. It gives them the creativity on that. If you have any questions or, or, or you have any um, concerns about the videos that I'm making, um, contact me. That's fine. If you, if you think it's not, you know, keeping their attention, if there's something I need to do differently, because this is a new experience for me too. And I want your child to be successful and I want them, I don't want them being bored and I want them to be engaged. I'm trying to use their names. I'm sometimes I make mistakes and I re, maybe repeat somebody's names twice. My goal is just not to miss a child's name. And uh, so that's my biggest, you know, thing. Sometimes I have stuffed animals in their seats on their desk to remind me. Sometimes, you know, I'm going through their names in their roles and stuff like that. Because the last thing I do, I don't want a child to feel missed. I know some children are raising their hands and upset because I'm not calling up on them because sometimes they forget. And that's a good thing that they're forgetting, that I'm not really there to see them. Because that, you know, means they're engaged. And make sure, too, that, that you are making them be engaged. Don't let them be lazy. Make them stand up for the pledges. Make them shout out and sing. You know, some of them are grumpy morning people. And they probably get it from their mom and daddies. But but make sure that they're engaged and they're singing, too. And they're doing those things. I, I understand if somebody's having a bad day. They don't feel good, whatever. But on, you know, you know, most days they should be engaged. They should be singing, too. And they should be you know, saying their vows and, and their, their, their phonic sounds and they should be saying their numbers too and, uh, and not just listen to me repeat it over and over. You know, so, you know, these things will help them. Now, some of your later papers, the next few weeks, is going to have more blending and more words and, and so just help them with blend. And that's one of the things too that I'm doing on the instruction video. I'm blending some of the words for the papers so you can see how we do it, our technique, so you can do it the same as a teacher because nobody likes to hear, well, the teacher does it differently, you know, and, you know, I'm the teacher now, you'll do it my way, <laughs> you know, but, you know, so those types of things. So trying to, so we can all stay on the same page and, and we're not, you know, confusing them um, with, you know, with the way we're teaching. So, but anyways, I love you guys. You guys are doing a great job. I love your kids so much and I miss them so much. Um, all I have here is my stuffed animals and stitch to keep me sane. And if you watch any of my videos, you pretty much know I'm not sane at all and everything. But, but you know, I pray for you guys daily and your families. You guys are very special to me. And, you're, and I love your kids very much. And uh, so I know this, you know, even though it's different, we can still be successful um, these last few weeks of school. And hopefully things will clear up and and my hope, my prayer is we'll all be back in the classroom. You guys be back at work or you'll be back at home, you know, um, um, all alone having some peace or having your own mommy and daddy time again or whatever it might be. Uh, but, you know, so I definitely, you know, know that we definitely will have stories out of this. That's for sure. And we will learn to appreciate everything around us from the restaurants we go to and, and you know and and our family and friends and uh you know we're definitely gonna you know appreciate some of that i'm missing my every tuesday night going to the movies every tuesday night i'm missing game nights with friends here that we would meet on friday nights and stay up till midnight in the lunchroom playing board games or something and also but and I'm sure Mrs. Coon's probably wishing she can have a little bit more alone time for me. I'm probably driving her crazy a little bit. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, so hang in there. Stay strong. Keep your faith strong in God. And, uh, and we will successfully get through this. So again, if you have any questions for me, uh, feel free to give me a call. And we're planning on, I'll plan for you. Unless I hear something different, you guys come by Friday. Um, I'll be here between probably 9 and 9 and 5 on Friday of next week. And if you need to come before that, let me know. Or if you need some other arrangements, let me know. And uh, so I hope you guys have a great Easter. Please remind your kids um, that Easter isn't just about the bunny rabbit. Uh, but I remind them too about it means resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that he's our savior. Uh, but I wish you guys all the best. And again, I will be praying for you. See you later, my friends. And remember, 
I am trusting you with my students. <laughs> Bye.